right now we're outside the famous Nayeb restaurant. This is the headquarters and the oldest restaurant out of the six that they have across Iran. Today it's its 50th anniversary, but the actual taste started over 130 years ago. And here we have the great great granddaughter of Mr. Nayeb himself to show us around of why this kebab just tastes so amazing. همونجوری که اول هم گفتم این عکس پدر بزرگ خود من هستش که ایشون پدرشون هستن و اصل نایب اصلا از پدر ایشون همین علی آقای نایب به وجود اومده در سال 1254 Nayeb is one of the most popular restaurants but it's mainly through reservation targeting the middle class the upper class Although it actually started its business in the bazaars alongside many of the other very famous kebabi restaurants. The kebabs are being dipped in the juice of the onions. I guess that's their secret to their amazing tasting kebabs. Basically, they're putting all the different types of kebabs that they make and cook um, all in a line. So you've got the filet, and then you've got the chicken, and then you've got the famous kubideh. So the meat and fat is then grinded, and with other, either onions and other spices, then it's made into the kubideh. I've tried to make kubideh so many times, but it keeps falling off the, the skewer. So when there's more fire, it actually keeps the juice inside. Exactly. So this is the bag, and this is the kubide. I'm really excited. She was just explaining that. You know, a lot of people, like, some of the traditional ways of eating kebab is by putting a raw egg on top of the rice. And uh, we have this dried, I mean, it's, there's this powder that's called somal, which is very sour. And you put it on top of the kebab, so you just kind of, like, place it like this. But it's got this really nice sour taste to it. And then also a raw egg right in the middle. So you mix the raw egg with the butter and the rice, and then you put the kebabs on top, and eat away. Oh, it's very good. It's nice and juicy. I mean, it just like melts in your mouth and you're complete. You're just taken over by the taste of good meat. because actually the tea is sort of as important as the food because the tea culture is just a whole other world in itself, you know? It's a way of bringing in a guest. Hi, hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Very happy. 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 Very سفره خونه باغ سباز در یکی از محله های قدیمی تهران به نام باغ سبا خدمت عرض کنم که سفره خونه ما یکی از گفتم از مجموعه های کارهای هنری و معماری درست شده اینجا نه که سفره خونه سنتی و اگه یکی از فرهنگ های اصیل ایرانی رو داریم باغ میکنیم و نشون میدیم نه باید نماشتر بیریم But back in the days, the tea houses were mainly for men Today, they have been transformed into family venues. Places like this are usually symmetrical and people sit around in circles. And it just creates this environment where, 
you know, everyone's interacting with each other. You've got the music in the center, and then you got people sitting here, you've got others walking around. And if you see the paintings, this is the environment where people told old stories, they talked about poetry, they smoked the shisha or the qalyun as some call it. اینی که شما این پدیده ای رو که می‌بینید شربت زعفرون شربت زعفرون سافرون تی زعفرون تی ببینید نکنید این از توی زعفران قاطی شده و خنک هم هست و این یک خاصیت پزشکی داره آه خیلی ممنون پس اول شربت رو خورده میشه بعد شای بریم سراغ چای سرویس چای گرم Here he was explaining the different sweets that are served with the tea. As we have the crystallized sugar, the famous dates, and this is bamiya, which comes from Zulbia bamiya. Um, the two different types of sweets that are made, uh, the wheat is fried, and then there's syrup poured on top. And then this is his own signature because it comes from his hometown, which is Hamadan. And it's not too sweet, so you can easily have many of them one after another. بله این به ترتیب نکنید این کوفته ریزه ماست میشه یکی از این اصلیتش از کجاست این مانه تبریز آمال تبریز مرسی I love کوفته so now you see the mother of کوفتهز so this is they have as the main dish and it's uh, quite a hearty meal Here you have the two famous eggplant dishes, which is Kashka Badem Jun and Mirza Ghasemi. Mirza Ghasemi is tomatoes, eggplants with a good amount of garlic. And then Kashka Badem Jun is the same with, it's just eggplant with lentils and meat. And then they put this whey sauce on top. And then if you're still not full, there is dolme. And dolme is a mixture of rice and meat and lentils. I actually split peas, to be exact, with a very specific type of herb that they mix it. And they stuff them in eggplants, tomatoes, and peppers. And of course, there's the very famous barley soup. This is just to start you off. You know, just to tease you a little for the main dish. in case you weren't full after the salads and the teas and the fruits. We're right now at a fish farm and here they harvest javiari. One of the biggest fish farms is 12 years old. Oh, that's one. Of them. I guess it's like a burger. <laughs> <laughs> 